Attention, all true believers. Marvel Comics is on the air. From the annals of the world's greatest comic magazine come the adventures of the Fantastic Four. This week, our fearless foursome will travel back in time and find themselves at the mercy of Ramata, the Pharaoh from the future. Sound mysterious? Well, Stan will be by to unravel this marvelous tale in just half a moment. Weaponless and defenseless, the Fantastic Four are trapped in the long-dead mysterious past with only their own unique powers to help them face the most totally unexpected menace of their career. But let us start at the beginning and let them lead us into this mind-staggering adventure. Ben's never failed to respond to our signal before. I wonder where he can be. He must be at Alicia's. No, I've been trying to reach there by phone. Wouldn't it be something if they were low? Maybe they're all walking. I'll fly over the neighborhood. Claim on. I was right. There they are now. Hiya, Alicia. Hey, Romeo, uh, I don't want to break up your little balcony scene, but Reed wants you to report back to headquarters on the double and bring Alicia with you. On my day off? Looks great. You tell that bag of bones not to hold his breath. No, Ben. He must go. It must be important. And so, a few minutes later... All the tests check out perfectly, Reed. Now, if only Ben and Alicia would get here. Here they are now, Sue. Come in, you two. Hey, listen, Bob, you're getting to be some kind of Napoleon telling Alicia to report here with me. Oh, Ben, it's all right. I always enjoy visiting here. Let me explain, old friend. This happens to concern Alicia. Uh-oh. When you use that old friend routine, it means look out. It all started yesterday when Sue and I went to the Museum of Natural History to check some elusive facts. I've been doing some research on Egyptology, and there are a few years of ancient Egyptian history which are completely unaccounted for. Almost as if they didn't exist. Anyway, among the hieroglyphics on display was a series which showed a blind pharaoh, then a vial of radioactive herbs, and then the same pharaoh with sight. It can only mean that during those missing years, a cure was found for blindness. If you're saying what I think you're saying... I hate to build up false hopes, Ben, and yet... That's ridiculous. How could there have been any radioactive herbs when they didn't even know about atomic energy? And how can we get back to the past? You know, there's no subway. I can't answer the first question, Ben, but do you remember our first encounter with Dr. Doom when Doom's castle was badly damaged by fire? There's a chance that the space-time machine he used to send us into the past for Blackbeard's treasure is still operational. Well, what are we standing around John for? Yeah, let's go. We've just been waiting for you, Ben. A short time later, the fantastic heart touches down outside Dr. Doom's now deserted castle. Once inside, they proceed with haste to the master control room. Hey, there's that plate we stood on when we took our little trip. Looks good as new. Lucky for us that Dr. Doom made so many things fireproof. The control panel seems to be intact, too. Alicia, you'll have to stay here to get us there and back. Think you can handle it? I'll try to limit my touch. But if there's any danger to any of you, I just couldn't bear it. Forget it, kid. Okay, Alicia. I'll show you the procedure. And then, after hours of practice... Everybody ready? I'm set. Now remember, Alicia, work those buttons just as we showed you. If all goes well, we'll return in 24 hours. Farewell, you brave, unselfish adventurers. As Alicia works the time machine, the fantastic boy disappear from sight on their way to a multitude of unsuspected adventures. Seconds later, or is it weeks? There's no way to know with the mystery of time travel, but seemingly within the wink of an eye, the colorful quartet find themselves in the land of the ancient pharaohs. We did it! We're here! Now all we gotta do is find that radioactive herb and bring it back with us. I only wish it were that easy, Ben. I have an uneasy feeling about those years for which history has no record. Look! On that sand dune ahead! Warriors! Fearless, the onrushing horde tries a mass attack, but on the wrong target. Going somewhere, playmates? Well, this ought to slug it. Well, 
then ties up the day's warriors in bonds made of their own armor. Another danger enters from the other side. Here come more of them. I'll take care of these newcomers in my own way. Can't get very far when someone's holding on to your chariot. The battle is raging on all fronts, and the Fantastic Four are taking it all, but their victory is short-lived for the next second. Flames and fireballs. Some sort of air vacuum is killing my plane. You want to fight, huh? Let's chew on this for a while. And as Ben collapses under the weight of the tree, Reed looks over from his own battles and... Something's happened to the torch and Ben. They both lost their powers. Now it's happening to me too. I'm losing my resilience. I can't stretch anymore. And as he falls to the ground, he senses the presence of the invisible girl. Soon, it's the invisible. Something terribly wrong here. Oh, Reed. Really? Famous foursome have still more staggering adventures in store, for when they regain consciousness, they find themselves in an ancient throne room. Opulence surrounds them. Where are we? Well, what happened to us? We're prisoners. That's the pharaoh. On your feet, captains. You are in the presence of Ramatut, King of Kings, Master of Men, Lord of the Seven Sons, and now. Captain of the Fantastic Four. You, you know us. Ah, I thought that remark would start you. Know? Hey, what's going on here? Did we land in the wrong year? Can this be the future? No, it is the past. Your mind is as sharp as the ancient legends claim. This is the past. But I am not of this age. No ancient pharaoh could have the power to subdue the Fantastic Four. Then this is the weapon which sapped your powers, which made you my captives. This ultra diode ray was invented in the year 3000, 1000 years further ahead in the future than your own century. Then you too are a time traveler. I come from a glorious age of enlightenment, the century of peace and progress, and I hated it, for I am a man of action, an adventurer, but there, there were no adventures, just unbearable bliss. The closest I could get to an adventure was watching it on 3D stereo vision. I learned of your existence through an ancient audio tape. Oh, how I envied your dramatic careers. Then, one day, while visiting the ruins of an ancestor of mine, I came upon what was left of his greatest invention, a time machine. I devoted years to building my own time machine from his plans. Then, at last, I was ready. With my headquarters in Egypt and my vast scientific knowledge, I could become the absolute ruler of all mankind. And so I traveled back into the dim past in my time machine, which I'd shaped into an awesome idol to play upon the superstition of my soon-to-be slaves. Oh, wonder, wonder, what miracles of art! But, due to a careless miscalculation, the machine was damaged on landing. I found myself trapped in this primitive century and sightless. But by firing my ultra-diode ray at the desert natives, I made them obtain for me a rare herb, which, when subjected to the radiation from my damaged machine, had the power to restore my eyesight. I have ruled here ever since. If I can just seize that gun. Ah, now I'll show you the power of my mightiest weapon. By bathing you with its rays, it can sap your will and make you my slaves. I need only repeat the treatment to free you, but that shall never be. Take that away. But you, Susan Storm, shall remain at my side and become my queen. I feel so strange, so powerless, in a world of my own. And so we see a turn of events you would never have dreamed possible. The complete subjugation of the Fantastic Four. The frequently feisty thing is now one of many galley slaves chained to their oars. Master, you dogs! I can do nothing but obey. It's like I'm sick with my eyes. And the formerly invincible Mr. Fantastic 
has been put to work as a super observer for the legions of Ramatut. All clear to the north. The enemy has fled. I cannot help myself. Must do as they command. And as for the once proud human torch, he is now court jester, furnishing amusement for the gloating pharaoh from the future. I have set him up with their straightest heroes. No God will ever defy them. And as the clock slowly draws near the fateful hour when the waiting Alicia will attempt to bring the Fantastic Four back to the present, the finishing touches are applied to Sue Storm's bridal costume. The effects of Robert Hunt's ray gun will never wear off. Our only hope is to have it fired enough again. But how? Every fiber of my being wants to flee this terrible fate, but I cannot. How strange for one about to become a queen to look so sad. But inscrutable fate works in mysterious ways and can change the plans of anyone, even Rama Tut. Under the heat of the Egyptian sun, the body chemistry of the imprisoned thing undergoes a change. As the rays get hotter and hotter, one of the most awesome physical changes ever recorded again takes place. Until the normal Ben Grimm appears. A Ben Grimm slim enough to slip through the shackles. A Ben Grimm whose mind and will are not affected by the ray. I don't know how it happened, but I've got a chance to save the others if I can just reach shore. Within the palace gates, the Wobegon Sue Storm sits beside Ramatut. Do not think, my lovely, at my side you should become history's most angry queen. Here I am being forced to entertain Ramatut. All I want to do is attack and destroy him. Now, my right be, sink your nectar into stars, love, for soon you shall be queen of all the queens. Yes, again, lover boy. I got that gun of yours, and things are going to start popping around here. Another 20th century intruder? But how? How? Oh. <laughs> But away from the burning rays of the primitive sun, Ben Grimm begins to revert to his other form, and as he feels himself coming under the will-sapping influence of the pharaoh's spell... I can't let my escape the Commanding days are over. This will hold you till I zap the thing and Mr. Fantastic out of your spell. No! Spell me! I beg of you! You suspect the room behind me is also the door to my hidden chamber. Now, if he wastes his time dividing his things, I can go directly to my time machine. Once inside, mine may be the other hand! Meanwhile, a revived Sue Storm fires the ray, point blank at the thing, and then 